So far, it's a good evening. The weather's holding. Mm -hmm. We're country, the country's at peace again. And we're putting the South back together. So I have to say welcome to today's date in 1866. a few myths. Contrary to the war record, which everybody tells me is stellar and amazing, and I, I do admit that I've had a few successes through the war, but I don't attribute that to anything in my makeup that makes me a warrior or following the star of Mars. Uh, I've never, never had a desire to join the Army. In fact, as we talk tonight, you'll find there's hardly anything in my entire adult life that I, I was uh, privy to or, or received that I asked for. There's only one thing, really, and that was finally the, the hand of Julia Boggs Dent, and it took three tries to get her to agree. <laughs> Here's Lincoln. My dear General, I do not remember that you and I ever met personally. I write this now as a grateful acknowledgement for the almost inestimable service you have done the country. I wish to say a word further. When you first reached the vicinity of Vicksburg, I thought you should do what you finally did. March the troops across the neck, run the batteries with the transports, and then go below. And then I never had any faith except in the general hope that you knew better than I that the Yazoo Pass expedition, which was to the north in bayous and the light, could ever succeed. When you got below and took Port Gibson, Grand Gulf, and vicinity, I thought you should go down the river and join General Banks. And when you turned northeast, or rather northward, east of the Big Black River, I feared it was a mistake. Okay, he's admitting my strategy was sound. And uh, overall, I probably made the right choices. So I, I was reading this aloud to my staff. Like I said about talking among friends, yeah. if we don't have friends in camp, and I have something in front of me, I read it quietly, and then it gets passed around the chain of command quietly outside of the guests. It's like an unspoken rule. We have to not offend them. But if it's friends around, I'll say, okay, okay, everybody listen to this. And I, re I was reading this. And I read the last line, I said, and everybody's like, well, that's nice. I said, no, just one more thing. Mm. And they all leaned in. And I said, I now wish to make the personal acknowledgement that you were right and I was wrong. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Writing all the wrongs about Grant, sharing the, the, the things that I've admired about him, so hopefully that inspires somebody else, like the boys that were here tonight. That's why I really stress a lot of the, the life lessons, because those are things I remembered when I was their age that really really drove me sometimes to overcome some things that kids get into or get pushed by, that you start saying, hey, if Grant did this, look where he ended up. You know, so that's, that's the inspiration there. But a lot of people, one of the best compliments I'll get is where they'll say, now I want to go read. You made me want to know more. So they'll go pursue it on their own and find something else out too. Because I'll never get to everything. <laughs>